when we provide only a single range to loc or iloc, we end up slicing the data frame in only one dimension, the row dimension. However, we can extend the selection in two dimensions by providing two ranges to loc or iloc, one for the row and one for the column. Let's start in this example by recreating the data frame about women in development. This time, when I slice by loc, I'm going to provide two ranges, one for the rows and another for the columns. Now I get a much smaller rectangular slice that includes only those rows and those columns. If I want, I can use iloc and specify two integer ranges. And I get a similar result, a much smaller data frame. When specifying the two dimensions, I don't have to only use ranges. I can use a range for one dimension and use a list for the other dimension, and that works fine as well. It will just simply pick out the columns that are included in that list. Here I have only the three specific columns that I put in the list. As with slicing by rows alone, I can omit the beginning or the ending part of the range and get all of the rows from the beginning to what I specified or all of the columns starting with what I specify to the end. Slicing by column is really just a variation on creating a rectangular slice. The only difference is that instead of only using part of the rows, I omit the beginning and the end of the range, indicating that I want every row. And then in the column dimension, I specify the range of columns to be included.